morning, everybody. So, oh, what I'm going to do is quickly show you. These are the roller blades that I'm using. So they're a, a Blade X uh, Mercury um, from gotta remember where it is. Uh, Rebel Rebel Sport um, on clearance special for seventy dollars a pair at the moment. They're only cheap. They're quite simple and easy. But the main thing is that they've got um, the ratchet straps. So the ratchet straps are most important because obviously when you're trying to dip down inside the shin, um, you can't be doing up laces and all sorts of stuff. So ratchet straps are so much better. What I've done is obviously removed the blade entirely. So I've just um, cut the entire blade off. Um, so cut the rivets and etc. and removed it all out. Um, taken the inner sole and everything out. Um, and got everything sorted for it. That's the boot um, and the stilt. So what I've done also to make it a lot more stable is on the bottom of the boot, apart from all the paint and crap, you'll see that there's a rubber, um, a rubber base. That's so that you've got grip on all sorts of surfaces. Now on the Marine, I used just flat stuff. On this one, I've used corrugated so that it doesn't stick to the bloody floor because um, I've got a real bad habit of um, suction capping to the floor. Now, the um, there's some large flat washers, um, stainless steel washers and screws, which screw the, um, the base of the stilt, as you can see down inside there. I think you can see it. Can you? Yep, there we go. Uh, it screws the base of the stilt directly to the boot. Now, on the inside isn't just foam. I put a, um, a four and a half mil ABS plate, which covers the entire inside of the shoe, which gives it that extra stability, uh, but still springy so that you can walk, you know, heel to toe type thing and get that natural, natural bend. Um, so, now also on these stilts, when they arrive, you'll get the, um, the stilt with a rubber base. Um, I take the rubber base off, so I undo the screws, etc. take the base off. Um, then I'll make some other mods and bits and pieces, like, for instance, putting some foam on the base here, but I'll be ripping all that off um, to put the roll blade boots on. So, but yeah, I replaced the straps completely with 50mm webbing um, and Velcro. So it goes around and locks in. And then when that locks in, it locks in nice and tight. So, okay. Fun and adventure. Now to undo all the wonderful work I've, I've, I've done before. Now, one thing to remember on these these um, plaster stilts is if you're not going to put roll blade boots on, etc. Um, if you're just going to use the plaster stilts themselves, be aware that this back plate, this back metal plate I'm taking off at the moment, um, this thing, uh, actually has three sets of holes. So depending on your foot size will depend on where that goes. Now it's extremely important for, not for how big your foot is sitting on this plate, but the balance of where you stand. So if you've got about a size eight foot, etc., you probably want it on around the middle one. If you're any bigger than that, you want it on the the furthest, you know, pushed furthest out and vice versa if you've got a smaller foot. Um, further in so and it does actually matter when it comes to stability believe me let's get back to pulling this crap off the poor screws out so I've just um, originally screwed the um, straps directly onto the stilts so that you know they wouldn't move around so there we have it now, one of the really, really interesting things about um, these stilts is when they um, they will actually rock forward. And they've got a set of springs down here which allow them to rock forward and rock backwards a little bit. So it gives you that more natural walk. Now, you can lock them in place to a, to a point. 
what you've got is you've got these springs here and as you can see see these little black things I've got inside here so that's my little washers now I've got a little bit of playroom because I wanted a little bit of give now these larger um, springs um, are quite uh, or should I say larger stilts not springs oh god these, la <laughs> these larger stilts are um, a bit more dangerous because they really do rock way forward and way back so when you're in a big cosplay you know trying to get really really tall like 10 feet um, you'll have a lot of problems there because they rock too far forward in my opinion so that's why I blocked it up now if I want to really lock it down I can simply screw this one down here and until the spring compresses down and compresses the two little white things plus my new washers so once I get that down to there as you can see now it's not going to move now it's completely 100% locked so these um, roll these uh, stilts actually have a already pre-made guide So I won't go through the entire process of fitting this. I'm just giving you guys an, a bit of an idea um, of how it all goes together. So that if you decide to do the, inside, uh, the same thing yourself, um, you can do that. Just remember to get the ones with the, um, the ratchet straps. It will be a lot easier in the long run. So yeah, so now all I have to do is obviously drill some holes down through here to put the bolts in through the um, the other front section as well now I only put I normally only put two bolts in but because of um, Bracus's uh, sheer size I might put three just to um, hold it in nice and properly because there's gonna be quite a lot of weight and that's not, not all the weight so um, the rest of the suit weights gonna be on me so anyway guys thanks for watching today um, thanks for being a part of it and um, stay tuned there's more to come See you soon.